Hello all. In today's lecture, we are going to learn how we are going to distribute the expenses of service department to the production department under simultaneous equation method. So in the question, it's given that the expenses of X, Y and Z department are 24,000, 20,000 and 10,000 which means total of total of total expenses of production department are 54,000 and expenses of service department are given to be 4,000 for service department A, 6,000 for service department B which means total expenses of service department are 10,000 which we have to distribute among the production department X, Y and Z. The interdepartment sharing of expenses are given as follows. Service department A will distribute its expenses to 20% to X, 25% to Y, 35% to Z and 20% to B and service department B is going to distribute its expenses as 25% to X, 25% to Y and 40% to Z in production department and 10% to A in service department. You have to prepare the statement showing the apportionment of two service department which means A and B expenses to the production department by simultaneous equation method. So let's start the question. So first of all we should write the expenses. So expenses are for X it's given to be 24,000. For Y, it's given to be 20,000. For Z, it's 10,000. For service department A, it's given to be 4,000. And for service department B, it's given to be 6,000. And if we are going to total all these, it will be 64,000. Now, first of all, let's see how we have to make the equation. So, let's make the working notes over here. So, working notes. So, for first of all, let's make the equation. So, over here, it's saying that uh, service department A has the expenses of 4000 rupees and which is to be distributed among the service department B to be 20 per, uh, 10%. So let's make the first equation. So first equation will be A is equals to 4000 plus 10% which is given to B. So instead of 10% we can write 0 0.10 B. And second equation will be B is equals to 6000 plus 0.20a. So as per the simultaneous equation method, linear equation method, first of all, we, we, we are going to solve this. So let's make the linear equations. So it will be a minus 0.10b will be equals to 4000. So we can say this is our equation number one. And second will be minus 0.20 A plus B is equals to 6000. So let's make it equation number 2. Now when we are going to solve equation number 1 and equation number 2. So as for the linear equation we have to. Multiply equation number 1 with 0 0.20. So we can say multiply equation 1 by 0 0.20. So when you are going to multiply equation 1 by 0 0.20. So it will be 0 0.20a minus 0 0.10 multiply by 0 0.20 will be. 
b equals to 4000 multiply by 0 0.20 so it will be 800 so let's make equation number 3 So we will write equation number 2 as it is. It will be 0.20a plus b is equals to 6000. Now if we are going to solve, we can name it equation number 4. Now if we are going to solve these two equations, so answer will be 0. 20a minus 0.20a will be 0 minus 0.02b plus b it will be 0.98b will be equals to 6800. Now b will be equals to 6800 divided by 0.98. If we are going to solve it, it will be it will be six nine three nine. Now let's solve the value for a. So we can say putting the value of b in equation one, we get so. In equation 1, we are going to put the value of B. So, A minus 0 0.10 multiply by 6939 will be equals to 4000. So, A will be equals to 4000 plus 694 which means a is equals to 4694 now let's see how to solve the equation we have got the answer a will be equals to 694 uh, and b will be 6939 so now let's see how to solve the equations now, first of all, let's distribute the expenses of A. So, service department A. So, we can say, first of all, we are distributing expenses of A. The value for A will be, that we have calculated is 4694. So, over here, we will write minus 4694. Now, we are going to divide 4694 in the ratio of 20% to X. 25% to Y, 35% to Z and 20% to B. So, first of all, let's calculate 20% of 4694 will be 939. So, let's write over here 939. If we are going to calculate 25% of 4694, it will be 1174. Now next is 35% of 4694, it will be 1642 and if we are going to calculate 20% of 4694, it will be 939. Now let's calculate the value of department B. So if we are going to distribute the expenses of department B, the Answer for department B was 6939. So we are going to distribute 6939 among department X, Y, Z and A. So over here the equation says that 25% of the amount is distributed to X, 25 to Y, 40 to Z and 10 to A. So if we are going to calculate 25% of 6939, it will be 1734. Again 25% it will be 1734 
if we are going to calculate 40% of 6939, it will be 2776. And if we are going to calculate 10% of this uh, 6939, it will be 694. Now just to round it off, we can just make it 5. Because if we are going to total x, y, z and a, it should be equal to 6939. Now if we are going to total this, it will be 24,000 plus 939 plus 1734. It will be 26673. So it is 26673. Now if we are going to total y, 20,000 plus 1174 plus 1735. It will be double two nine zero nine. For Z ten thousand plus one six four two plus two double seven six, it will be one double four one eight. Now, if we are going to total A four thousand minus four six nine four plus four six nine four, it will be nil. And if we are going to total of B six thousand plus 939 minus 6939 again it will be nil and if we are going to total x y z a and b now so again it will going to come to be 64,000 hence our final answer will be the cost for department x will be 26673 cost of department y is 22909 and cost of department z will be 14418 Hope you understand the concept. Thank you.